Hi all, I am Odit and welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a long time, I have not been posting videos, I'm trying to be more regular now. So, so yeah, that's where I am and that's why I'm in front of you. So I hope you all are doing also well. Um, this has been, I mean, the last few years have been tough times for all of us, COVID and layoffs and lots of things happened, right? So in this video, I'm going to talk about a very common topic which is asked to me, uh, which is, you know, Odith, how you could clear so many companies, right? If you really see my journey, I started with Directa and, you know, today's 2024 and with that, I have joined lots of companies, I have cleared lots of companies and stuff. Right from the beginning, uh, first of all, I was in Directa. I did my two months internship over there in 2020, uh, 2012 and uh, then I got a PPO from there and uh, in 2013, I joined them as a full-time. Even in 2013, I did a six month internship with them from January to May, June. Um, after that, you know, we, we I, got, I, mean, I joined them as a full time again. Um, after that, I moved to Amazon. Um, in between, I got multiple offers again, you know, hike and all. Um, and then after Amazon, I moved to Adobe, Microsoft, and then back to Amazon. In between, again, I have given, given lots of offers. I've got lots of offers and given lots of interviews. So people keep asking me, you know, what was that mantra? What was that, you know, thing that you were looking at? Uh, that you were doing differently because of which I could, you know, clear lots of interviews and touch wood, um, you know, I could clear so many interviews um, because of, you know, this basic thing which I, I, I focused on. So that focus, that, that focus or that basic thing was your fundamentals. So one very important thing is trying to understand what do these companies ask, okay? There are lots of videos all around the YouTube and all. Which, which confuse you a lot, right? Like because somebody is saying do this, somebody is doing do that and everybody is just trying to, you know, uh, maybe trying to help you, but I'm not sure, you know, why then there's so much of confusion because people keep reaching out to me still now and asking me how to prepare. And that's why I thought, okay, let me just create a one-stop shop, like a video where I tell everything, okay, how I could clear those interviews so that, you know, you can get as an experience that, okay, how, you know, what was asked to that, how Udit lived that journey and maybe, you know, it will help you in doing the same journey for yourself. So, right, starting from beginning when I was in college, right, I mean, many companies again came, d Shaw, Direct even for the, you know, internships. Um, and I was doing ICPC at that time, and I was in Amratapuri, and I got a call from Direct from that ICPC itself, you know. And Direct asked, okay, we want to interview for a uh, for an internship role, and I was happy, I mean, just like all of us, uh, I got quite happy that, okay, I'm getting an opportunity, which was a very good opportunity for me. And uh, the interview experience was like, you know, they were purely focusing on DSA algorithms. Uh, the first two rounds were like that. Um, and then they were also focusing a bit on my fundamentals of computer science, like OS, DBMS, networking. So because from the college students, you don't have system design, you know, system design is more about experience, you know, it's more about when you have learned something by doing things, right? But in your college, you have done some projects and all, but System design you have not done, right? System design, like high level design, you have not done much. So that's why during those times, companies were asking mainly DSA, DSA, you know, um, algorithms and all, and computer science fundamentals. But today they are also asking LLDs because, you know, how to do OOPS concepts, how do you know about class structure, all of those things, multi-threading, right? Simulfers and all, OS concepts, those things are asked a lot. So that's why if you're a fresher, I think doing good DSA algorithms and getting better in fundamentals of your computer science like OS, DBMS, threading, low-level design, OOPS concepts, encapsulation, abstraction, class structure, class design, interfaces, Java concepts, all of these, th all of these th things become super important because that's what is asked from the companies. And that was, that was exactly what was asked to me also during that time, right? So that was the first internship which I cracked, which was directed. Now during the internship, I worked on multiple projects, you know, that they gave me those projects. I worked on them again you know i was able to deliver, deliver them in a in a good way that's why i got the ppo once i got the ppo i joined them again in january they're also you know as i said i worked over there for six months again i worked on some more projects after that you know i joined them as a full time there i stayed there for around four four years and all and um, during that time also i keep applying um, i kept applying to you know some companies to see if i get a better opportunity um then i switched to amazon right in amazon Again, the interview process was exactly the same, you know, uh, coding and problem solving, data structures, algorithms, and then uh, design. And design, both low-level design as well as high-level design. In Amazon, there were also leadership principles which were asked, you know, behavioral questions which are situational dependent. But again, the if you really see the, the, the competencies on which you are evaluated, data structures, algorithms, 
लो लेवल डिजाइन हाई लेवल डिजाइन मल्टी थ्रेडिंग एंड लीडरशिप दीज आर द कॉमन थिंग्स विच वर आज इन एमेजॉन एंड मूवीज राइट देन आई मूव टू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट अगेन द राउंड्स वर एक्जेक्ट सेम ऑब्वियसली द क्वेश्चन वर डिफरेंट बट द कंसेप्ट और यू नो आई वुड से द कॉम्पिटेंसीज वर सेम डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड डिजाइन एंड इन डिजाइन इट वॉज अगेन लो लेवल डिजाइन हाई लेवल डिजाइन देन अगेन बैक टू एमेजॉन अगेन द सेम थिंग राइट डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एल्गोरिदम्स हाई लेवल डिजाइन लो लेवल डिजाइन लीडरशिप प्रिंसिपल्स स्टार बेस क्वेश्चन बिहेवियर क्वेश्चन सच स्टफ इवन दीज डेज वेन आई वॉज इंटरव्यूइंग द पैटर्न इज एक्जेक्ट सेम सो वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इज डोंट ट्राई टू लर्न एवरी थिंग दीज डेज इफ यू आर अ फ्रेशर आई वुड से फोकस क्लियरली ऑन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एल्गोरिदम्स जावा कॉन्सेप्ट लो लेवल डिजाइन ऊप्स कॉन्सेप्ट um your os fundamentals dbms networking and those kind of stuff if you are experienced person then focus on data structures algorithms low level design meaning if you have a you know uh, lesser experience meaning you know 4 years or 5 years up to that much time focus on you know data structures algorithms a lot low level design a lot multi threading a lot little bit on high level design and that then you should be good obviously leadership principles come in because now every company has started asking for it so leadership principle again become a very important point if you are more than 5 years experience then i think everything am become everything becomes super important and you have to be really good in all of these things data structures algorithms low level design high level design leadership principles multi threading database schema designing all of these things become super important and that was my was my journey also whenever i was interviewing i saw these kind of questions so i mastered myself in these technologies data structures algorithms i keep revising every now and then i keep solving some problems whenever i get time low level design high level design i keep learning i keep learning new and new things over there by going through company blog post by going through you know how other people are designing systems by discussing with people what is their approaches you know so it's all about discussions right in terms of designing so even today i keep doing this stuff and that's what keep me updated and that's what you know help me a lot whenever i am applying to the companies for the interviews and that's the exact thing which i wanted to tell you Don't try to take a hackish way. Don't try to see that okay, let me solve this problem, that problem, and all. Become better in data structures algorithms, low level design, high level design. How to become better in this? Maybe I'll you know create some separate videos on them. Some of the videos I've already created on my channel, so maybe you can check them. But if you need any other help, if you need any other roadmap, any other area, please do comment it below. I will be you know super happy to create a maybe another video on that area. But for 2024 one of the major focus for you should be to make yourself really strong in these skills so that you know when you give interviews the questions will be on these skills you will be able to answer that's the tip from myself my side and and i wanted to say all the best to you do better in your interviews grow better in your career 